guys. Um, Vlogmas day five has been a wash. Just saying. Anyway, guys, Vlogmas day five here. I'm not. I'm not even gonna come on here and um, uh, really say a whole lot because I think this is gonna be a combined video with tomorrow because. Or maybe tonight, I don't know. I don't know if we're decorating the tree at all or not. I have a ton of laundry at home to get done and that's what I've been doing, laundry. And we had, we woke up this morning and the house was freezing. Um, we didn't notice till we were up for like an hour. It's normally a little chillier in the house because I usually keep the temperature around like 68 in our house. But uh, I woke up this morning, I was like, man, it's a little cool in here. And I didn't really check the, the thermostat or anything. So I checked the thermostat and it was like below like 65 and I'm like, something's going on. So I went downstairs to see what exactly was going on and our oil burner or furnace or whatever you want to call it was like completely shut off. So that wasn't good, right? So I hit the emergency switch off and on and then off and on and it kicked it back on. And then it was like reading like the temperature at like 75 degrees or something for the, the water heating. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no HVAC person, but uh, Carrie then called the guy that we have um, maintenance our um, oil burner um, and Carrie called him course it would happen on a Saturday right um he called him and the guy was like oh well your PSI gauge or whatever should be between this number and this number while ours was way above well not way above but it was like I don't know it was like five or ten numbers above what he was saying it was supposed to be and I was freaking out I'm like is this thing gonna blow the hell up like what is going on so we waited and like it heated like our heat came on and stuff and um so that happened and I go downstairs and the PSI is like now 15 or 20 over what he's telling us it should be. So he ended up having to come and take a look at our um, oil burner and um, he like adjusted something and changed like a nozzle. I don't, I don't know. He did something to it and told us just to keep an eye on it and to let him know. Um, but here like our actual, like the thing that we have, like the actual... I don't know what it's called. Like the actual thing itself had like a sticker on the side saying like our PSI could be actually higher what he was telling us. It could be higher than what he was telling us. So hopefully that's taken care of. I was meaning this morning to like shut the electric off in the kitchen so I could pull my dishwasher out to see what like the serial number for the latch is so I can get that part. I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow because I don't know, I'm gonna go home and make, why am I going this way? I'm gonna go home and make dinner and stuff then, but um, I'm just running to the post office. I have some mail to drop off. I have some mail to drop off at the post office, like in their outside drop box. Yep, to the office. Oh, you're gonna do it? Oh, okay. Maybe at some point today I will be back on, but I don't know. Anyway, and this outfit, like, this is a full-on outfit. Like, the top and the bottom both look like this. Because I wanted to be cool, like, you know, like, like some of the Instagrammers and get those, like, loungewear outfits. But I'm a bigger girl, so either way. I ordered this. It didn't come in the correct color that I ordered it in. We'll just say that. And now I look like cotton candy walking around my pants so there's that glorious wonderful but anyway guys I'll be back here I am I like my mess real life the past few days have been a little me I'm eating a cheese sandwich real grown adult food here right because I didn't eat it today that was the first thing I ate Never did the gingerbread house. A bag, a tote, a crooked nutcracker. It is what it is. I have a kid. My hair looks gorgeous. I'm making hot dogs. 
And guys, I gotta share this thing with you, okay? So I have to share this thing with you. My uh, husband went to Costco the other day. We are not Costcoers, guys. You guys know this is distracting in the background here, and I apologize that my nutcracker is leaning over and all the things. But this is a Gotham Steel Pro pan. And it's a basket you put your food in. And it holds it up so all the air circulates underneath. So, I made pork chops in this the other night, but I did not eat them. Carrie and Kagan did. Carrie said they got pretty, uh, the girls ate them too, but uh, Carrie said they got pretty crispy. I'm trying to open a bag of chicken nuggies here. Um, also from Costco. Because we're fancy. We're eating hot dogs and chicken nuggets. Killing it over here, guys. So anyway, I left off from the other day when uh, I was telling you guys that my oil burner was not, it, it shut off, right? And the guy came and he, did I tell you guys the guy came? Yeah, the guy came and serviced it. And I have like candy on my sh What is that? Don't know. Either way, I look like a freaking disaster. And at this point, I don't even care. You know, I don't even care. The uh, oil burner shut off again last night. <laughs> Today's like the coldest day so far, thus far. I mean, hot. We got it to turn back on, but now they're thinking it's something with a computer. It's on and working for now. So the guy who services our stuff said, you know, if it does it again, he can't fix it, but he has somebody who can fix it. It's a belt on the floor over there. You know, my kids like to keep it classy around here. But anyway, uh, so that's where we're at. I tell you all the time, like how fancy I am, right? Everything's a freaking mess right now. They have like toys and stuff. There's toys thrown over there, but look. I know you're eyeing this up. You're like, what the hell is on that counter over there, right? This is a caulk gun used for this. I uh, needed to redo the caulking in our bathroom. So that's been on my to-do list, you know, for a few weeks now. And I still haven't gotten to do it. So at some point, I brought it out to the counter. took it out of the bag and set it there so that uh, I'd remember to do it. Let's see uh, if I get to do it tonight when the kids go to bed, the girls go to bed. Um, but yeah. Carrie also picked this up at Costco. I plan on doing this one night with the kids. It's like uh, pre-made cookies. Usually are not my thing, but he picked this up for us to do. Decorate your own Twas the Night Before Christmas cookie kit. So we're gonna try that, doing that. We have a gingerbread house to make. And, hold on. It's a cannoli kit. So, that was from Costco as well. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Anyway, my shirt is the epitome of what I've been the last few days. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to hop out of here.